Welcome to Think Tank, everybody. Brett Ehrlich and John Idarola breaking down a topic uh, that we've discussed before, but this time with a new point of entry, a new spin. So, college athletes, should they be paid as pros or should they maintain the amateur unpaid status uh, that they've had up until this point? Uh, now, who's bringing this up? It's Josh Rosen. Quarterback for UCLA. Just so you know, a little background. My father was on the UCLA football team. They won the Rose Bowl in 1966, beating number really? one undefeated Michigan State on the last second play. That's pretty amazing. Okay. So That's I know amazing. everything so about So you know about Josh Rosen, though, right? Yeah, the chosen Rosen. The, Rosen is the, he chosen? the chosen? Okay, he's, he the, he's the Rosen one. He is potentially the most talented quarterback to come through UCLA since Troy Aikman. Have you ever heard of him? I have heard of him, actually. And so he makes the case that they should be paid. So I'm going to read a couple of quotes, and then we're going to talk about the little wrinkle that's leading some people to attack him, mm -hmm. I take it. Okay, so he said this, uh, this is a couple months ago, it's absolutely too much to be considered an amateur sport, talking about football at the college level. I love Coach Moore to death, but if they want to call it an amateur sport, hire amateur coaches, don't have TV deals, don't have 100,000 people in the stands, and don't sell tickets. Those are interesting points. Really good points. Um, now, the uh, wrinkle in all this is that while... The that wrinkle in this is that we have audio from YouTube videos. No, mm -hmm. um, it's that uh, Josh Rosen apparently comes from a wealthy family. Yeah, he was born He's... and raised in Manhattan Beach, mm -hmm. which is where only the hoidiest and toidiest of folk live, like Brett. Yep. Um, and so people Rosen. are like, "You're talking about needing to be paid when you're rich? How dare you?" Yeah, it's great. It's these weird discussions that also come up with like Colin Kaepernick making it making yeah. a point. It's like, "Well, why you rich people? Why why are you the ones?" That we should listen to in all of yeah. this, it doesn't affect you. And and Rosen and Kaepernick also point out like, that's exactly why you should listen. I have like I'm fine. Yeah, that's one thing that Rosen says. He's like I'm fine. He says I have connections that will do me well in life. I will be okay without football. I want to fight for the people who won't be okay. Which is crazy because like on the off season he works at a hedge fund. <laughs> Wow. Or like that's what he like some kind of private or wealth management yeah. service. What what I think is amazing about it is that in the case of both Colin Summers. Kaepernick and jo uh, Josh Rosen, what they're saying is when they're saying you're not like the people that you're fighting for, so you shouldn't be fighting for them, you're saying, why are you caring about other people? That's, that's what I love about it. It's literally an anti-empathy argument. Yeah, and he's just like, well, it doesn't make sense. And a lot of people's counter-argument to the payment is, well, we're getting a free education. Mm -hmm. The problem is, there's other people Which isn't who get, necessarily, I mean, some of them are. A lot, well, a lot of these ones. A lot of the, a lot of the ones we're talking like about that. with yeah. football, they are getting a free education. But the counter argument is, yeah, some people can get paid a dollar an hour. That's not a living wage. Yeah, exactly. If you look at what people need to survive, a lot of them argue the the you know we don't we can't get money for food. We do yeah. have a card that allows us to get meals at the dining halls. But if we're practicing till after the dining hall is closed, like I can't do it. That helps you cut weight. Yeah, it helps me cut weight. Yeah, that's what they yeah. want. But no, they want them calories. They want them to eat yeah. calories. And, then and the these people who are like on offensive linemen, especially athletes, they need to eat a lot. They need to eat a lot. Yes, like the Rock. Um, so, and again with the, the Colin Kaepernick and, and the Josh Rosen. So when they say you're not the right sort of person to be making this political argument or this ethical argument, my reaction would then be, oh, okay, that's fine. So then, are you okay with this argument when it comes from someone who's destitute? Right. No, you're not. You, you don't like uh, Occupy Wall Street. You don't like Black Lives Matter. You don't care if it's the, the elites or the people at the bottom that are making the case. You're against the argument. You're against right. the progress. And in, in either situation, case. you're going to find reasons to dismiss. The thing is, like, you probably also won't hear the destitute person when they come asking for something. No. Like, you, they just don't have the platform. We wouldn't even do a video about them. Now, my, my general stance to this is that I do think that if these uh, kids are amazing, they should be paid. But my stance is that... Uh, that it shouldn't be affiliated with universities. It should just be, if we want to see the most awesome 17 to 23 year old football players play outside of the NFL, then we should have an amateur league or a when pro you, league when you at look a lower level. At the uh, Olympics, the mm. Olympic, from what I gathered watching Rio and asking, like, mm. why are the best soccer stars not playing right now? It's because they have the Olympic ones are younger athletes. Yeah. So something like that where it's, where it's yeah. set up. I, I don't know. That's I me as a like, non sports watcher. The problem is there's a lot of issues with. You know, there are I'm giant sure. schools out there. Yeah. So this week, Clemson played South Carolina State, mm -hmm. and South Carolina State lost 56 to nothing. South Carolina State doesn't make any money really off of their football program. Clemson paid them hundreds of thousands of dollars to come play. Wait, which one? Clemson so the one big that won school, or lost? The big school has oh. the Clemson won by 56 points. Yeah. The big schools actually pay the little schools to come nice for like their home openers and their homecoming games to be eviscerated. Yeah. 
That's nice. It's a sacrifice, basically. Yeah, but when it comes anyway, down to it, I yeah. think there there can be like a discussion about a living wage being paid to these athletes so that they don't, you know, a lot of them, their parents are not don't have any money to send exactly. them, and or so might be going into debt. And, and another and if you another don't, argument, if you don't make money as another an argument for how they should for that they should be paid is the average college student is wealthier than the average student athlete who's on scholarship. Mm. So the so you go to the school and you're surrounded by like kind of more affluent people, and but you, you could still beat them up. You could still beat them up for sure, and you're cooler than them. For yeah, I've noticed that because you can run or yeah. whatever. Or you can catch too. But at the same token, like you're trying to fit in socially, and it's yeah. like that episode of Friends where half of them have money and the other half don't. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Anyway, uh, let us know what you think about this. Both the general question, also uh, the involvement of Josh Rosen. You can post those down below. We'll see you next video.